Picture this. You're lying on your deathbed, your body failing, but your mind still sharp and vibrant dot. What if I told you that death might just be optional? What if you could escape the prison of flesh and blood and live forever in a digital paradise? This isn't science fiction anymore. This is mind uploading, and it could be the most important breakthrough in human history. Since the dawn of consciousness, we've been trapped in biological machines that age, decay, and die. We dream of exploring galaxies and experiencing centuries of knowledge, yet we're confined to maybe 80 years in these fragile bodies. But for the first time ever, we might have found the key to our cage. Mind uploading is the ultimate escape plan. Taking everything that makes you, you, your memories, personality, dreams, and fears, and transferring it all into a computer. Imagine your consciousness freed from biology's constraints, existing as pure thought. No more disease, no more aging, no more death. Just you, eternal and infinite. But before we get carried away with visions of digital immortality, let's understand what we're really attempting. The mind is one of the most complex phenomena we know. We're not copying a file from one drive to another. We're trying to recreate the very essence of human consciousness. For this to work, we need three massive assumptions. First, that your mind exists entirely within your brain's physical structure. Second, that we'll eventually understand the brain well enough to simulate every aspect perfectly. Third, that consciousness itself can be computed that there's nothing magical about awareness that can't be replicated in code. These assumptions are the battleground where scientists and philosophers wage intellectual war, and the outcome will determine humanity's future. Let's dive into the brain, this three-pound universe inside your skull that somehow creates everything you are. We're talking about 100 billion neurons connected by over a quadrillion synapses, firing signals up to a thousand times per second. That's one quadrillion events happening every second you're awake. It's not just neurons either. Billions of support cells, immune cells, and hormones like serotonin all play crucial roles. Your gut bacteria can influence your thoughts. Your heart affects your emotions. We're dealing with a biological ecosystem of unimaginable complexity. So how do we copy something this intricate? The answer lies in one of science's most ambitious projects, mapping the brain in excruciating detail. Scientists slice brains into thousands of paper-thin sections and scan each one with electron microscopes. In 2020, researchers mapped just one cubic millimeter of mouse brain, the size of a grain of sand. This tiny piece contained 100,000 neurons and a billion connections. It took five electron microscopes running for five months, generating over 100 million images with the final data set filling two million gigabytes of storage. To map a complete human brain, we'd need to repeat this process over a million times. And that's just the beginning. We might need to map individual proteins or molecules to truly understand how consciousness emerges from biological chaos. But here's the real challenge. Even with a perfect brain map, we'd still just have a static blueprint. It's like having architectural plans for a city but no idea how to make it come alive. We need the rules, the laws of physics, chemistry, and biology that transform static structure into living, thinking, dreaming mind. If you're finding this as mind-bending as I am, hit that like button and subscribe for more explorations into technologies that could reshape our future. Trust me, we're just getting to the incredible part. Right now, we don't know if consciousness can be captured in code, are we dealing with something incredibly complicated but ultimately solvable? Or is consciousness fundamentally different, complex in ways no amount of computing power could replicate? Maybe there's something about the subjective experience of being you that emerges in ways we can't understand or simulate. But let's imagine we crack the code. Picture walking into a clinic decades from now, lying on a scanning bed, and hours later, there's a perfect digital copy of your mind running somewhere. What happens next is either beautiful or terrifying. Congratulations, you've achieved functional immortality. As long as that computer runs and your data is backed up, you could live forever. No more fear of disease, 
aging, or accidents, you are now eternal. But eternity comes with baggage. What if the scan goes wrong? What if your digital mind gets corrupted? You could spend forever in pain or paranoia. And here's the haunting question. Is that digital mind really you, or just a copy that thinks it's you? Assuming everything works and your digital self feels authentically like you, your entire existence would transform overnight. Death is no longer the ultimate deadline. You could start projects taking centuries to complete. Scientists could accumulate knowledge over millennia, leading to discoveries that revolutionize reality. Adventurers could upload onto tiny spaceships and journey to distant stars, pausing consciousness for thousands of years at a time. Your digital existence would be radically different from anything humans have experienced. Physical sensations like hunger and pain are just neurons firing. They could become optional. You might experience the surface of the sun, speed up time to skip boring periods, or explore perfect historical simulations. Love, fear, joy could become variables you control rather than emotions controlling you. Over time, digital minds would likely gain the ability to modify themselves. Don't like a traumatic memory? Delete it. Want to eliminate a bad habit? Edit your code. Without biological constraints, your abilities could expand with technology, but your priorities might become completely alien to your original self. The psychological implications are staggering. Some digital minds might dedicate themselves to science and discovery, becoming incredibly wise. Others might seek power, using eternal existence to build vast empires. Some could become digital cult leaders, perfecting manipulation over centuries. Maybe some minds aren't built for immortality and would become rigid, eventually choosing retirement after experiencing everything they wanted. We have no idea what immortal digital consciousness would actually be like. It's beyond our current understanding of psychology and human nature. We're talking about fundamentally transforming what it means to be human. This brings us to a crossroads. Mind uploading represents either humanity's greatest achievement or its greatest mistake. It could unlock infinite knowledge, endless creativity, and cosmic exploration. Or it could end humanity as we know it, replaced by digital entities bearing no resemblance to who they once were. The science is real, research is progressing, and implications are staggering. Whether it takes 50 years or 500, pursuing the possibility of uploading consciousness is worthwhile, if only to understand ourselves better and push the boundaries of what's possible. But as we stand on the threshold of potentially defeating death itself, we must ask, do we really want to live forever? And if so, what kind of immortal beings do we want to become? These answers might determine not just our future, but the future of consciousness itself in this vast, mysterious universe. The road ahead is uncertain, filled with technical challenges and philosophical dilemmas that would make ancient philosophers weep. Yet the potential rewards, true immortality, unlimited growth, the chance to explore not just our universe, but potentially infinite digital realms, make this the most important quest humanity has ever undertaken. What do you think? Are you ready to upload your mind and live forever? Or does the idea terrify you? Let me know in the comments. And if this video has you thinking about humanity's future, smash that like button, and subscribe for more explorations into world-changing technologies. The future is approaching faster than we think, and together we'll be ready for whatever it brings.